We know no law that allows Mr. William Ruto and Mr. Rigathi Gachagua to order Kenyans to invade other people's lands and businesses in the name of quelling legitimate, peaceful, and constitutional protests. Despite as Azimio supporters bending over to ensure that the protests are conducted strictly within the law, the state, under the direction of Ruto and Gachagua, did everything to ensure the protests degenerate into chaos and lead to death. Yesterday, the state unleashed goons on farms way off Nairobi and business, businesses way off the CBD. In that invasion, trees were uprooted and burned and animals scattered away and slaughtered under the supervision of the state. Business premises were stoned and broken into and properties scattered away. Worse still, lives were, lives were lost. People were hacked to death with crude weapons while others got shot with guns. The last time we witnessed such invasion of farms and companies in this part of the world was when Robert Mugabe claimed to be compensating freedom fighters in Zimbabwe. Mugabe claimed to be compensating freedom, sorry. It ended in the total collapse of Zimbabwe's economy. It will not be any different here. In this latest act of desperation by Mr. Ruto and Gachagua, we see a plot that will be extremely disastrous for the country's long-term stability and economy. We see the little hope for Kenya's large-scale farming. We are tearing the heart out of our commercial agriculture. We see little hope for new investments in our economy or expansion of existing ones. We are looking at the beginning of the end of the economy of this country. It is clear that the country is being run by people suffering acute split personality disorders. The country is in the hands of men who are goons at, at, at heart while pretending to be leaders and statesmen.